Hi there, you're with Jennifer Frost, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. Today I'm sharing with you this pretty little card that I created for the Fancy Friday blog hop in April. Now the Fancy Friday team were given the challenge to create a piece of art and by that they said put something together that had no greeting or sentiment on the front. I was drawn to the In the Meadow stamp set which has unfortunately now retired a little bit earlier than the May 31st um, catalogue end date unfortunately but it was perfect for practicing a little no line watercolouring technique and by the time I'd finished the project I really felt special like I'd made something really beautiful. Uh, it struck me as uh, having the feel of a watercoloured painting rather than a stamped piece of work. So I was so happy to share that in my blog in at the end of April and I did ask if anyone was interested in the video to stick their hand up and let me know and so many of you gave me such beautiful positive feedback and I've decided to put this video together for you as a result. So I hope you enjoy watching me create this lovely little piece of art and it gives you some tips to pull out some of the stamp sets in your stash that might work. Alright, so to start with, I've got the Shimmer White A4 cardstock. I love this for watercolouring. It doesn't have ridges in it in the way that watercolour paper does. It does give you that smoother result when you're putting your project together and that's why I like it so much. So I'm cutting this one down to 14 and a half centimetres. By about four inches or 10, um, I call it a 10.2 centimetres. And that's our shimmery white cardstock base. And the first thing we need to do is stamp those lovely deer. I've gone with Sahara Sand, which is a lovely soft colour, really suitable for that no line technique. Mount that on my block. And the first stamp I'm going to do is on this, like that, and then I'm going to stamp that up there. So I've got this post-it note here, and the reason I stamped it first on the post-it note was to get a lot of the ink off, because I didn't want it too deep um, for my card. But it's also handy because I'm going to cut that out soon and use that as a mask when building up my other layers. Now that I've got that in place, it's time to add a little bit of colour and I'm going to do that with my aqua painter and some soft suede. Just got a tissue here. It's handy to have a tissue close by when you're colouring. Alright, so picking up a little bit of colour and I might pop this close so I can see it as I go. I'm going to start where the shadowing is deepest. And when you're colouring it's always better to start light and build up. You can always add more ink but you can't take it away.
Alright, so now I've kind of done the deer, and as you can see I was layering, I would go lightly over first, then slowly add a little bit of deeper colour to wherever the shadowing would be greatest, and blending out. That kind of gives you that definition. In your dear. Now I wanted her to be a little, the mum to be a little bit darker because my fawn is going to be a little bit lighter to set them apart that little bit. Before I do that though, I'm going to show you the little eyes. So I've got my watercolour pencils here. I'm in love with this colouring medium. I really do love my watercolouring pencils. And it's because I have my little watercolouring pencils that it's a bit easier to do little detail you've got a little bit more control when you can, when you're using a pencil I'm just doing the little eye and the nose a little spot on the nose there it's the artist here don't cut as close um so I'm just gonna clean that off and I'm going to blend that tiny bit nose. And your eyes. I think it's just probably worth noting that at that point there I went a little bit close to where it was quite wet um, and of course if it's a bit wet it's going to drag down So I might leave that to dry a little bit more and then I'm going to fix that eye up again so I'm just blending in any bits that went into her little cheek there. And I'll come back when that face is a bit drier. And I'll go and give that eye a little bit more definition. to the little baby's nose, the little bambi. Right now I pop that pencil aside. Just wanted to go a little deeper here. Again, just picking up ink where it's really deep. I want to define her head a little bit more, so I'm just putting a little extra shadowing around where her neck might have been turning. Alright, so cleaning off my brush, I'm just dampening the fawn. where I'm going to apply my colour next. I am going with my soft suede again, but this time I want it to be really quite soft. So if I just just create a really soft colour by adding a water, really watering down a segment. And then start where it's going to be deepest and draw the colour down. And I 
just want to darken up that eye for mum just a little bit. And you can continue to build on the colour if you want to. I'm quite happy with that. I'm just going to darken up the whole leg. And uh, maybe give her ears just a touch. Detail through there. Alright, so the next step is to pop on and add just a tiny bit more. As it dries, you'll find that it lightens. Alright, so the next step. Once you've got your deer and you're happy with how they've come along, is to cut out your mask. So once you've got your mask, you can pop that over the little deer that you've just painted. And add a few other layers. So I started with the trees. And what I'm going to do with those is ink them up in my soft suede. Use my tissue and just pull off some of the colour on the leaves. We're coming into autumn here in Australia and I was really inspired by all those autumn tones to add some reds and oranges to my trees. I've gone with the real red marker and some pumpkin pie. And then to finish we've got some peekaboo peach. Now I've just realised I've probably done that on the wrong order and some of the darker tones I've just put on that are going to end up on my marker. I'm just using my scratch paper to take that off straight away so you can see that those extra colours have come off. It's probably ideal, and I will do that in my next one, to start with the, the lighter colour first and, and stamp on. So now we're going to add some a scattering of trees. And the beauty of doing it this way is I can stamp first and create some dimension by stamping off again and again. I'm going to do that again. I might do that one more time. Ink it up in soft suede. Get my tissue. Pull off some of the colour on those leaves. Applying a little peekaboo peach. 
getting any excess off there. Dabbing on a little red. A little pumpkin pie. Pretty close here. And of course, as trees move further into the background, they become lighter. And we'll probably want one more just here in this space. Coming a bit closer down into the foreground. And then maybe running that off into the background a little bit. Like that. And a few more trees in the distance over there. And that's the trees. Now leaving that mask in place, the meadow stamp set that we're working with, I will be using that again, has this little grass patch. So I'm going to use my soft suede and we're doing the same thing again so I'm adding some grass detail here but before I go I just keep stamping giving us some of that foreground background detail pretty happy with that so I'm just going to keep stamping. I might just add a little bit of deeper colour here. Like that. So the next step is to start to blend those colours together. We can remove our mask and now we've got some really cute little deer sitting in amongst the grass and the autumn trees. And we can blend in some of that. It's really quite wet. So I'm just going over with a clean aqua painter. Filling in the whites around that grass. And then this is where the fun comes in. So if we're going with a nice autumny colour scheme, I'm going to go with a bit of a sunset. So I'm going with a very clean aqua paint and I'm just dampening above that brown grass. I'm going to add a little bit of daffodil yellow. Give us a bit of a um, sunset glow. Making sure that's clean, I'm just going to blend that in. I'm 
the next colour I added was a little bit more peekaboo peach. Very softly. So up from the yellow, the sky is warm. and warm glow here around our mom and bub. So don't stress too much if that's seeming a little bit patchy. We will come back through and give everything a, a bit more of a tidy up as we go. In fact, I'm just going to bring this peach colour a bit closer up higher into the trees here. Next, to finish off the sky, I went with soft sky blue. I'm going to just dampen that so that the soft sky glides on a little bit easier. I'm going just for a very light sky blue. I'm going down from the top because it's becoming more orange further down. So I wanted a bit of a deeper blue here at the top and then blend it down to a lighter blue and it hits these orange colours. So the next step is just to blend it and bring it all together. So the inks that we used in our trees are going to react to the water in the paper, in the watercolour marker, and allow me to just smush those colours in together. Just cleaning my brush, I don't want it too wet. Blending it out here around the trees. I don't want it to be so obvious there, I want to have that blue. Going over the lines of the tree trunks.
do here is lighten that up a little bit. And I'm going to pick up a bit more blue and bring that back down into the tree line. as a way to define our sky and tree area a little bit more. Now what I'm going to do is add a little bit more orange into our night into our um, sky And I'm going to just also increase the soft yellow. And anyway, you think that might be just that little bit too white. Just go back over it with a clean aqua painter and it will start to drag the colour, blend the colour back out for you. Just a few final touches for our deer. Now that the deer is nice and dry, I want to add just a little bit of white under her eye there just to brighten that up a little bit. too much water but I do need enough to pick that white pigment up. I wanted to lighten her eye up a little bit there. And the other little step is just a few dots on Bambi's back. I was thinking that okay. and the dots on Bambi's back I did with a white gel pen. So I've got my white gel pen here, I'll just make sure it's coming through. And you can see the dots very, if you look very closely, you can see the dots where they were from the stamp. And I just went back over those to brighten that up a little bit. And there you have it. Once that's dry, you can mount it on folded soft suede card base. Um, in Australia here that's an A6 size. And you're finished if you want to. Um, one of my friends looked at it and said wow you could just put that in a photo frame and I thought that was such a sweet thing to say. Have a practice, see what you think. Obviously every time you do it it's going to come out just that little bit different. But it was a really fun technique to do and I really enjoyed putting that together and I hope that you enjoy it too. 
If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email. If you want to see a list of the supplies, everything is linked onto the blog. And while you're there, don't hesitate to hop through and see what the other Fancy Friday ladies have come up with. You won't be disappointed. Lots of beautiful ideas for the work of art theme this month. Thank you. Bye.